Hey guys, it's Robert with Forever Fit. I'm here to give you guys a little update about what's going on in the studio. And then of course, I'm sure you've already read the emails, heard the buzz about the new facility. Okay, so first off, dates on that. We're looking at about mid-March, okay? So that's going to be after Vegas, all right? Um, now, if you, if you go ahead and check out our next video that we're going to be posting up too, I'm actually going to be giving you five different tips that's going to help you to boost your metabolism and help to get you ready for Vegas, okay? Um, if you don't know about the Forever Fit Vegas trip, then boom, go ahead and read the info below this. We're, we're going to have a whole little, little write-up about it. Okay, so I just want to explain what the plans are real quick for the new building. Okay, so right here, <clears throat> now if you're not quite familiar with the area, um, we're, looking at, <laughs> we're looking at Iowa streets right here, Chevron, okay, just think of the Chevron station over here. We got like Dairy Queen and all that fun stuff over there. Um, oh no, sorry, not fun stuff, bad stuff, bad, bad, okay, <laughs> all that stuff's over there. Um, so this is what we're looking at for the space, okay, so you walk right in, right over here to the left, right, we've got our bathrooms and whatnot, there's also going to be a shower in one of them, um, and uh, yeah, and then over here we still got our changing rooms. Now here, we kind of, we kind of call this area John's playground, I don't know who erased play, maybe I did, maybe someone else did. Uh, but but that's going to kind of be John's area. This all might change, okay? Um, but this is just the general workup. Right here, Big Red, which is this big thing that I'm underneath right now. All you guys know about that. Okay, that's going to be going across there. Another section here, this is going to be kind of multi-use. Um, <clears throat> this is probably where we're going to be doing uh, some of the classes, uh, some personal training, things like that. And then over here, um, as of right now, this is going to kind of be an area where definitely for level two training, bigger classes and stuff, we're probably going to be using both of these. Um, but it sometimes this might be, you know, maybe used for spin, maybe used for like power yoga, something like that. Remember, this is still in that concept phase, okay? Um, everything isn't totally panned down yet. Over here, this is where the bay door is, okay? The big roll up and everything. Um, we're going to have another smaller rack there. Maybe a few treadmills, still not sure about that, okay? We just need to kind of fill it out. Once we get in the space, we'll really know more so from there. Over here, kid zone, don't want to get in any legal trouble, right? Um, so, and this is actually going to be a room now, instead of just like a little sectioned off area. An actual room, and then right next to it, we've got our office, okay? This area here, we're going to specifically use that for stretching, kind of overflow. Of course, whenever we have like a charity boot camp or something big, um, you know, we'll definitely be using that like as a station as well. Then we've got a little front desk kiosk, all right, where we're going to have our check-in, um, all that fun stuff. So we're going to kind of have a flow. You know, you come in, boom, you can do your foam rolling, uh, get your stretching done, all your correctives, things like that that you, need to, that you need to get done before the workout. And then from there, boom, you can spin over to John's area, maybe you're over here for personal training, maybe you're over here for group training, whatever the case may be. One of the best things I love about this, indoor rubber track, okay? So this rubber track is gonna kinda of wrap around the different workout areas. So now we can sprint whenever we want. We won't have to worry about running into another class. We can just go for it. Um, that'd be pretty awesome. So, rocking that, and then of course, weather permitting, we can head on outside, whatever the case may be. So, like I said, we're looking at about mid-March doing this. Um, it all depends on when we can kinda of get funds together and stuff. Essentially, we need to repaint all the area in here back to white, all right, fix up some drywall spots, that sort of thing, and then now repaint the new facility because I can't work out in the white room, and I wouldn't force you to go through that pain either. So we got to get some color in there, get some life in there, all right, more, more details will follow. Hey, I'll see you guys at the workout.